then then this guy goes on to say something to the effect that Captain America could take Luke Cage. That's absolutely false. Captain America, first of all, would never fight Luke Cage. They're both Avengers in these modern days. But even back in the days, he wouldn't have... He wouldn't have tried to fight him because he was smarter than that. And plus, he's noble. They would have to have a reason. He wouldn't have a reason. So they never have had a fight in the uh, comic book of Marvel's world. But if you wanted to um, cross-reference things to show and prove that he couldn't take Luke Cage. One, if you go back and you reference Spider-Man when the Falcon was... uh, chasing Spider-Man. He wanted to capture Spider-Man. The story is good, so you could go into it later, but the point I'm making is he steals Harry Osborn, which shows you the strength that the Falcon had because he was able to carry Harry Osborn in his arm and climb up a rope on the side of a building to take him because he thought he was Spider-Man. Spider-Man sees um, the Falcon abducting Harry Osborn and comes to his rescue. Figures out that it's the Falcon and is like talking to him like, you know, what's good, son? What are you, you know, what are you doing? And he figures out to himself, oh, you thought that this, you thought Harry, he didn't say it to him, he said, but you thought Harry Osborn was me, right? So once they get to talking and uh, fighting with each other, um, Spider-Man and uh, Falcon get to talking and they figure out that that's Captain, Captain America's new partner. And um, so he says to Falcon, uh, Captain America can tell you about my strength and he have more sense than to slug it out. But some guys have to learn the hard way. So in other words, he's telling you that Captain America can't go toe-to-toe with me. You know, it just can't happen. I'm the spider. But later on, um, not in that storyline, but another storyline, you see that uh, Luke Cage and Spider-Man have a misunderstanding. They have a fight based on um, JJJ, J. Jonathan, whatever, that crazy-ass newspaper guy um, that's always trying to get at... uh, I'm always trying to get at Spider-Man. So anyway, he hires Hero for Hire to get at Spider-Man. Spider-Man makes wise cracks about Hero for Hire being a mercenary. Um, but the point I'm making is you can see that he's very agile where they said, oh, he's not agile, he's not fast. He's very agile because he went toe-to-toe with Spider-Man was able to connect on numerous occasions. Um, even Spider-Man himself, who is... No, I'm not a slouch. If anybody knows the power of fact finders, y'all know Spider-Man's power. Spider-Man is a pretty strong cat. Like, he's just not no slouch. So, even he, when he was fighting Luke Cage, uh, was surprised at the speed and the agility that Luke Cage had. Because he said, wow, you got to be at least 300 and better. You know, he is. He weighs more now than he did when he first started. He was like 300. But his strength, his strength has increased since those days of fighting Spider-Man. And now he weighs about 420-something pounds. Yeah, I'm going to give you a clip on that, but you see um, just how you know heavy this cat is, how agile he is. So you see him doing things like snatching uh, Spider-Man by the leg, slapping him back, um, punching him, connecting. You know, you hear Spider-Man saying things to the effect that... Uh, one of the stories he says, Cage isn't my enemy. He's just trying to do a job. And we're too evenly matched for either of us to really win. Now, you see, that tells you right there. Now, he didn't say he was evenly matched with Captain America, but he did say that he was evenly matched with Luke Cage.